Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today, magdutor po tayo sa Lion Country Safari. And of course, together with my hobby, siya ang driver ngayon. Ayan guys, so ititiko kayo ng tour dito sa Lion Country Safari. So, kumakain pa siya. Is that okay for you, honey? As you approach the entrance, please be aware of some very important safari rules. The animals here are not tame. They are wild animals. Wild? Oh, the most oh, no. important rule yeah. is to keep your doors locked and windows closed at all times. At all the times. No feeding of any animals in the preserve is permitted. Please respect the home and health of our animals. Do not throw trash or cigarette butts out of your window or on the ground anywhere in the drive through preserve or the walk-through adventure park. Oh my gosh, For the we safety see of all the animals the that live here, <laughs> the please ostrich. drive slowly at about 5 miles or 8 kilometers per hour. Ostrich. And take your time to watch the animals to fully enjoy your Lion Country Safari <laughs> experience. Please form two lanes of traffic as you travel through the preserve. And if you wish to stop to observe the animals, please pull to the right side if possible. If you need assistance at any point during your visit, please call our main office at 561-793-1084, extension 2000. You should now be nearing a set of gates that lead to the first habitat of the preserve. If you've not reached the sign for Las Pampas, please pause this recording now and restart it once you have reached that point. A big tortoise there, Daddy. A you very are big. now entering Las Pampas. Las Pampas. Named for the grasslands of South America, where you'll find a wonderful a big turtle there, Hadi. Yeah. Watch out for the giant Aldabra tortoises. Uh -huh. It's there! Those aren't just big boulders uh -huh. you see in the grass. They are one of the wow. largest species of land tortoises in the world. Wild Aldabra tortoises so can big, reach honey there. over 500 pounds or 227 kilograms and can have shells Four feet or 1.2 meters. It's a friend of Black Hawk there. <laughs> They're also very long lived animals, reaching an astounding Brown pelican or pardo. Oh. These gentle giants come from the island of Aldabra, off wow. the coast of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. The largest of the tortoises in this section is named Lancelot. And he's been under our care wow, since so big, 1969. Honey. We can ride on Nearly that. as long as oh. we have been home. Oh, these uh, tourists have been here Lancelot since 1969. Is to be in his yeah. mid 90s and weigh over 700 pounds or 318 kilograms. Lancelot has grown familiar with his keepers and recognizes his caretakers coming to feed him or just to say hi. Some of Lance's favorite treats include watermelon and bananas. And if you don't see him grazing for grasses, keep an eye out for him in the shade or even the shallows of the lake alongside the road. Tortoises don't swim, Babe. but Aldabras have been known to hang out what in the shallow that, water Camel? to cool off. Alpacas were domesticated from wild vicuñas. And are primarily native <laughs> 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 They're cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Soft, you have to wow. eat. They come <laughs> over because they <laughs> think that we might <laughs> feed them. Is this camel or no? Although alpacas and llamas are alpacas. Alpacas are small and both light like and too. weight mm. and have finer, softer wool than llamas. Wow. Our youngest alpaca in the preserve oh, is named so Finn. So nice, babe. <laughs> Amongst our team, Finn is known to be overly oh, curious. Oh, I want to ride on that baby. That's he our baby, right? To know who everyone is up to. <laughs> From our keepers to our landscaping team 
Oh. To our maintenance staff. Finn even once grabbed a keeper's hat right off his head and ran off with it. No doubt a fun game for him as the keeper spent 20 minutes chasing him around trying to retrieve his stolen hat. Rias are the fourth largest species of bird in the world today. Known as the ostriches of the new world, rias are incapable of flight. They inhabit the grasslands of South America and feed on a wide variety of plants. An interesting feature about them is that what the males kind of alone incubate this? the eggs and raise the offspring. Although they are plentiful in human care, wild populations of rias have Very declined local. significantly due yeah. to hunting and loss of habitat. They're crossing the road. As a traveler, you can help protect rears from poaching and avoid having your souvenirs confiscated or paying a hefty fine by being one of the many people to say I think oh, that one is in the souvenirs and items in made from protected wild animals. Injured, maybe, this leg. The brown pelicans are found along the coastal areas of North and South America and are a familiar sight here in Florida. Oh, yeah. With That's permission <laughs> from the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, Lion Country Safari offers a safe haven for these individuals that have sustained okay. wing injuries in the wild and cannot be released back to their natural habitat. The pelicans under our care still produce offspring, and you can sometimes see them search for and carry sticks back to the island to create nests. Baby pelicans hatched here at Lion Country Safari are free to come or go as they please, since they're a native species. When they grow and learn to fly, some opt to fly off to the coast to join the native Florida population, while others may remain right here under our care. Wild pelicans are at considerable risk of becoming entangled in carelessly discarded fishing line. Please, fish responsibly and do your part to properly dispose of trash. The Brazilian tapir is an odd-looking mammal native to the forests of South America. At first glance, these oh, that, animals yeah, that, that, look that, much like an enormous that, brown pig. Yeah, it's like a pig, right? Oh, look similar God. to an elephant's trunk. However, their closest living relative is actually the rhinoceros. Yeah. As herbivores, <laughs> tapirs feed largely on vegetation and fruit and their body shape is well suited for quick movements through thick underbrush. They are excellent swimmers and spend a good deal of time in the water. When the tapir oh, here at Lion they Country they Safari yeah, isn't excellent. enjoying a soak in the pond, yeah. she can often be found napping. Rawr. Don't be alarmed Rawr. if you see her dozing on her side in the company of black Rawr. vultures. Rawr. These birds are scavengers, so they often wait for the tapir and other animals to be fed or even to defecate. They will eat almost anything and are often called nature's cleanup crew. As you drive through our preserve, you may notice many other native or visiting bird species, including white ibis, Wood stalks, they are feeding right now, honey. Many more. Yeah. Because These time to eat birds for them, right? And enjoy the habitats here at Lion Yay. Country Safari, either all year round or as a stop on their migration routes. Lion Country Safari supports bird conservation efforts ah, knows that when somebody purple marks and houses. Over. And you're gonna feed them and then you can see because they're sleeping on the... That is almost completely dependent on nest houses. And our MOTUS tower. MOTUS is Latin for movement or motion. One of the main focuses of this project is to enable conservation and research wow, by beast. tracking the movement yeah. of species of animals. The MOTUS tower helps to track the movement of migratory species across Florida to support research and conservation efforts of birds, bats, and more. 
Wow. Oh, a tower can actually be spotted from the giraffe feeding experience platform in the walkthrough adventure park. Wow, so nice. Look at the one with the uh, uh, answer. A set of gates that will take you through to the next preserve. If you've not yet reached the sign for Ruaha National Park, wow, look at those antlers. What? Start it once you've reached that point. You have now entered Ruaha National Park. This unspoiled African wilderness is in Tanzania okay, I got a car and it. is known for its variety Please, of wildlife. The greater kudu is one of the most beautiful okay. species of antelope okay, no. in the world. This antelope. To the bushlands and woodlands of central and southern Africa. Kudus are browsers that eat the leaves and shoots from a variety of plants. Males are known for their spectacular spiraling horns, which can grow as long as three to six feet or one to two meters. Many of the animals reproduce or have babies here on safari. And we welcome an average of about 80 baby animals from a variety of species on safari every year. The majority of these births occur right here, out on safari or in adjacent visible maternity areas. These births often happen in front of guests and you may even catch the miracle of birth on your visit here today or spot a newborn animal during your visit. We keep thorough records on every animal that we care for at the park. <laughs> and you may notice many of the animals have gear tags or unique patterns that allow keepers to identify nearly every animal at Lion Country Safari. With this identification, we can keep detailed notes about each individual animal and record a variety of important information about them, starting with their date of birth. Other notes can include breeding notes, medicine prescribed or given, veterinary records, enrichment given, training session notes, weights, and any other interesting things that may happen each day. You've probably noticed the ostrich in this section. Ostrich are the world's tallest living birds. They're quite inquisitive by nature and will investigate new items by pecking at them. This is a big ostrich there. Oh, wow. We'll share more about the ostrich later, but if their curiosity has attracted them to your vehicle or windows and you can safely pass them, you are welcome to do so. You may also have noticed waterback, another African antelope species in yes, this there's an antelope brown. We'll see more ostriches and waterback further on the safari. There's the big ostrich there. The medium-sized antelope in this section are impala. Babe, stop. These graceful animals are so adaptable that they are found in grassland and close. light woodland habitats from southern Africa to the northern limits of East Africa. I don't think he's got a car. Yeah. Impala weigh from 100 yeah. to 150 pounds, I got a car or 45 to 68 kilograms, and range from 28 to 36 inches, or 71 to 91 centimeters tall. Females are similar to males, except they do not have horns. You remember last time? Yeah, there was the only 